Soto Karas has the height and reach advantage, but he is a fighter that Tim tends to fight smaller, and so that, oh, he can hit with things like that uppercut. But then, oh my, oh, Soto Karas comes back, and you underestimate Soto Karas, and you do so at your own peril, as we are in the midst of a firefight early. That same overhand right that hurt Andre Berno. A left hook to the body, followed by an overhand right. Six first round KOs in his first eight fights. Heard just a few seconds before. Good counter left hook by Thurman. Early against Chavez inside of the box, but he can always. <laughs> Stiff jab by Thurman. The bell rings and sometimes oh. he's still sleeping. Good jabs. A couple of stiff jabs by Dan Birmingham. Former trainer of the year in 2004 and 05. Oh. Former trainer of Winky Wright and Jeff. Two weight showdown between the undefeated Keith Thurman who attacks Soto oh. Kana's body and lands a right hand and Soto Kana staggers backwards in the dying stages of round one and turns the table. What a start! Beyond, Keith Thurman got a surprise from Jesus Soto Kana. It was an overhand right. We'll take a look at it from yet another angle. Thurman had his left hand languishing, had his head up, and even though it's an awkwardly delivered punch, as Soto Kana's door often does, he landed a big right hand. But Thurman would come back in this round. And this is Thurman landing the good straight right hand, throwing counter punches and uh, blasting away. This was right toward the end of the round when he had Soto Kana in a bit of us in the black with blue, and they may be black and blue by the end of this. To say the judges, Javier Alvarez, Don Griffin, and Alfredo Polanco, making an early Christmas hunches in the last round. He's having himself a pretty good second round. He's now finding that the range defensively to not take that right hand. Soto Kana's trying to throw it, but he's coming up oh. short. Left hook lands by Thurman. Soto Kana's coming forward, a couple of left hands to the body now. Against the hard-hitting Marcos Mucky. When he plants, he's beating Soto Kana to the punch. A little good body shot there by Soto Kana. And there was the one on the belt line. Brunello along with Hall of Famer Al Bernstein. Pauli Mount is passed, it's kind of hard to give him the benefit of the doubt. Triple jab like, by Thurman. Like, it's a tough balancing act. Thurman was finding his range with the work the body. He's mechanically, he's a terrific fighter. He's throwing the counter left hook, but then he will show us the jab, doubling with that punch, no tripling. <laughs> and you see those are very good jabs. They're solid jabs, they're not just range finders. He's landing that punch very well, even as he's moving. Soto Karaz, with his powerful work to the body, at the end also to the head, landing the left hook, and he, had, when Thurman gets against the ropes, if you get there against Soto Karas, he's gonna find, but it may cost him rounds. He's gonna, yeah. But now in his 286th professional round as a science and the universe, and here in the sweet so jab. You're right, Al, and at this pace, it's gonna become a even worse battle of attrition in the late rounds, because this pace is gonna hurt both guys later. There. Himself back in the center of the ring. There's oh. a beautiful left hand of the body, followed by an overhand right. Right. Looking to work the body. Utilizing the footwork to try to keep Soto Kanas off his rhythm. A favor Al Bernstein would say, good point, Paul. Fifth round. And Thurman teeing off on the head of Soto oh. Kanas. And down goes Soto Kanas! Wow! Four, five, six, seven, eight, stay there. Okay. Soto Kanas goes down. Surprised himself. Oh, good right God. uppercut. That was a ratio in his wins. And in this case, he would land the left uppercut. He's been looking for both uppercuts, and this one landed perfectly and sent Soto Karas down to the canvas. Another look at it. You'll see he's trying to right hand and then and lands a very nice left hook. But it would be this left uppercut. Just a perfect punch for him. An explosive move by yeah. Thurman because he was just coming back out on the defensive. And right away, he transitioned right back to offense. And as Pauly said, the transitioning from defense to offense, and uh, it, it, those punches look a little wide, but they're not really that wide. They're not really that wide. And we talk about the result of Soto Karas. Remember his last fight against the 11th round, and yet came back to stop Andre Berto for the first and the faster pace to start this round. Yeah, his nickname is determined uh, for a reason.
They are really low now. They're like Sometimes you just change the look, yeah. the fact that he can, he has a, a range on his defense. Look what he did against Chavez, showing lateral movements of Soto Canas. And cuts have been a problem throughout his career. 30 seconds left in the round. Another stiff jab landed by Thurman. And we all have uh, Thurman winning the fight. Thurman had over 100. He caught just 25 years. He Thurman. Oh, he got caught with the overhand right, looking for the overhand. Oh. And now Soto Carras unloading on Thurman. Nice overhead right button. Very hard when he needs to. He's got a lot of... We should mention... Left hook upstairs connects by Soto Carras. But coming forward still, gets stopped by the jab. Deal with, man. He, he chose out, boxed him, and he slowed Soto Carras a lot. The eighth round, Thurman continues the footwork and landing the Combinations, combinations. This is a very big ring. At the behest of Adrian Broner's camp, it's almost a 24 foot. Good job by Thurman punching off the ropes as he and Soto Kanas continue to throw. Tan on his arm, and there's a right Thurman. Wild right hand that crosses and Soto Kanas is in the corner after he got tagged with that right. He's been down once in the fight. There's a lead left uppercut that connects. That lateral movement, Soto Kanas unable to cut off the ring, and he eats a right hand, and he is hurt. A left hand, and Charlie steps in. The fight is over. Keith, one-time Thurman, remains unbeaten. ...for boxer to power puncher very quickly. He, that left hook is as good as you can throw the punch. And thankfully, John Strowman was, well, actually got in there after that combination. But the thing about Thurman is, he told us he was going to throw more right hands because he knows the left hook is powerful to work on the right hand. But when he lands left hooks, Keith Thurman is a very, very difficult customer. He's got tremendous power, and he does the right thing there. He's you're supposed to punch when you can. And uh, Jesus Soto Caras, Thankfully went down there, but the third and left hook is really his money punch But he's right that developing the right hand will help him and actually it was the right hand that started some of the problem Before he even landed the left hook so an Impressive finish by Keith Thurman changing from boxer to puncher uh, In an instant and watch the referee catch Soto Caras keeping him from hitting his head on the canvas. He was going down hard Keith, a one-time Thurman, sends Jesus Soto Caras to the canvas two times en route to recording his 20th win inside the distance. A welterweight. Anybody, baby? I'm ready for the world. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have the time of 2 minutes, 21 seconds in round number 9. A referee in charge, John Shorley, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. He is still undefeated.